Hello, hello, hello beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. And in this one, the plan is simple. Keep maintaining the top 25 rank on the leaderboard and at the same time complete some of the hardest combat achievement tasks that I've been procrastinating on. Let's get into it. That is going to be all the crafting levels we are going to need. I have a bit of extra and I might as well use it. All right, now we can do the crafting tasks first. Black Dragon Hide Body in Canifis Bank. Okay, this should work. There we go, much better. So I think I need to make this. Yeah, that's another... Ooh, I didn't know that. I've completed all elite tasks in Fremenic. I'll see if I can complete everything else as well, but that's... Because that could be really good. There we go. Nice and easy. There we go, perfect amount of darts fletched for 90 fletching. Now with 95, I can finish the next task. I could go for 99, but it's pretty expensive, so I will see if I need to. Oh me, oh my, good morning fellas, good morning ladies and gentlemen, I am so dead today, holy moly. This is gonna be the most dead breach, uh, meaning there's the least amount of players on. Uh, this is very low amount of players, usually it's always over 200, uh, but somehow, some way, not a lot of people online right now, so I'm looking forward to this, hopefully it's a good run. Okay, let's see, the start today, 177.3. Sigil of the Ninja. Oh, what? I missed it. I didn't have inventory space, did I? That was just Ninja just chilling on the floor. That's crazy. <laughs> Finally got an emblem. Took a little bit of time. Emblem number two. I'm being VLS. Interesting. I think I'm still good to stay. And we got another emblem. Got another emblem. The food situation not looking too hot though. Got a trinket as well. That is it. Get out. Okay, points. 181,000. I think that's really good, no? I think it's 4,000, right? For a single bridge, that is actually really, really good. If I were to quickly relog, uh, we're gonna quickly check what kind of rank this would give us right now. At the moment, it looks like we would be rank 13, which uh, really, really solid. Not gonna lie. Before I forget, I'm just gonna do one of those. That's an elite diary, nice. Might as well do all of them. Ooh, first skill back, we got another Hydra Leather, which at the time when we first got it was pretty useless, but now it goes for like 7 to 8 million. Uh, so this is very good drop actually, so we will absolutely take that. Uh, I'm just getting re-familiar with Hydra a little bit, and then at some point I'm probably gonna send a low HP Darok kill as well. Uh, okay, we got a alchemical hydra heads, which I don't think is very good, but it's a new collection thing, so we'll take it. Okay, let me try it. Okay. Oh, I choked it. Shit. Do magic. Magic, I think. <sighs> oh my god, I'm lucky as fuck. I did it. No pressure. First try. Nice. Okay, now I can just focus on doing standard kills and I don't need to worry about it. Ooh, another unique. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to this, but I did it in the first try, so... Very nice. And now I can just uh, go back to my range and do chill kills. And eventually we're then also we're hoping to get the speed task as well. But it's kind of hard. But maybe if I had a proper Tebow, I could do it. But as you can see, what's remaining is 75 and 150 kill count. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this entire task. And we're probably going to get some good loot in the process as well. All right, this is now a pretty damn good trade. Sh uh, Shadow is 200 mil, Tebow is 200 mil. And we're doing this trade because I'm trying to get a speed Hydra done, so I will be risking this 200 mil whilst doing it. And this shadow was actually given to me by a viewer, which uh, hopefully I can find the clip and showcase it here. Dude, this is actually so insane. So, Mr. Kite over here is uh, has a little real Tumican shadow, and I got a really nice DM from him, and we're gonna try to utilize this shadow to get more points than we otherwise would. It is a scary item to have because it is worth like 200 mil and I don't want to risk it but 
that is actually kind of crazy so that's really i don't know i i don't know that's kind of insane not gonna lie we're gonna try to use this at the breaches probably die for it Ooh, we'll see how it goes but but this is gonna be pretty helpful i'm not gonna use it for too long i'm just gonna use it until i get a task and then i'm gonna go back to standard twisted bow but there it is it looks absolutely gorgeous let's see how the kills translate when it comes to speed Oh, we got a 128 kill just then. New PB, but not fast enough yet. Yes! 119, one second faster. Okay, that's huge, we did it. Oh my god. Now I can just do standard relaxing kills without needing to worry about venging, dropping to like no HP, doing all these crazy shenanigans. I can just chill and kill the boss, which is so good, man. So good. I'm gonna go for 150 kill count. Uh, because then I will complete every single combat achievement when it comes to Hydra. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Oh, brimstone key. Nice. I really should make it so this is shining, by the way. Oppa, another Hydra tail. I don't think that's very useful, though. But, I mean, we'll take it. Also, I'm pretty safe when I do this boss, so I think I'm gonna turn the stream on. I'll just go out here and turn it on real quick. Opa, veteran alchemical hydra for a little bit of points, we take those. Thank you very much, game. Now we just need 75 more kills and we're done with this boss completely. Final is probably gonna be very laggy and I expect a lot of clans to avoid each other. It's just gonna be a multi-fight, which I think is a shame, man. I really, I really enjoyed the 1v1s, but that's also part of the reason why I really decided to play for points in this tournament is because, I mean, 1v1 is not gonna be a thing, so I don't know, I can't really get points that way like I used to, just like hard practice for 1v1s and then try to do the best that I can there. Th this one is literally just a PVM tournament, basically, and then the multi-fight is, you can just go either way. There's not much you can control there. Ah, there it is, the beautiful... 100 kill count for some mystic robes. Uh, I will be going for 150 because I will be getting bonus points for combat achievements. But right now I'm just gonna do it for maybe like 15 minutes more and then we're gonna get ready for a breach. But yeah, now we start getting less and less points for every Hydra kill count. Hydra's Fang, is that the second part of the ring for us? And the full ring is actually worth decent money by the way. So this is pretty solid actually. Yeah, Brimstone Ring is 10 million. You know, that's not bad actually. 9 p.m. breach is starting in a couple of minutes and if you look at the amount of people 360 we're probably not gonna get a lot of points uh, we're starting basically at 18 if i get 2k points i'll be happy first emblem obtained oh this is so many people on this bridge by the way look at the mess okay we're having a pk on us immediately but criara might be able to stop him so if i just Maybe I'll run. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here. I still have a lot of supplies. If I just keep running in the mass, I think unless they're using Entity Hider, I should be okay. Yeah, VLS, I can tank it. We'll TP out of this one. Ah, finally, a little emblem. Morning guns. Oh, I got it. Nice. That's a lot of money right now. Little emblem. That's it, right? Let's just dip. No looting needed, point-wise. I don't fully remember where we started, but I think it is around 2k points we, we just got, which is, we'll take it. For the amount of people on the server, we will take it. Did 85 to 88 thieving over here in safe zones, just pickpocketing Knights of RD. The goal is to get to 91, because then I can complete all the achievement diaries and you cannot boost for it. So I might thieve a little bit more, or maybe I'll go back to Hydra for a bit. Oh, that's actually a pretty good drop, Onyx Vault E. It's like 500k. Uh, I'm up to 114 kill count, just trying to get to 150, and then we'll be done with the Hydra. Oh, another Onyx Vault drops. So I have basically a million in my bag right now. Way, no way. This is really good. This completes our ring. And ring is actually really good money right now. That is easily like 12 mil at the moment. Obviously, three pieces of the Hydra create a brimstone ring. And Brimstone Ring is a really nice ring, so yeah, very happy to have this done, actually. Oh my, we just got a jar of chemicals. There is actually no shot. I'm pretty sure if we get a lens, we've gotten every single drop, but how, how sick is this jar? We can put this in the house, make our house look really sick. We'll take it, it's a pretty useless drop otherwise, but I like how it looks, so I'm pretty happy with it personally.
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, these trips are going kinda crazy. We're getting dragon items, hydra bones, full inventory of loot. I mean, this is pretty solid. Now, if we combine hydra's eye, heart, and fang, we can create a brimstone ring. And if I quickly take a look at the site of how much this costs right now, uh, it actually costs 12 million at the moment. So I might chuck it in the market for like a bit more than that because I don't think there's many in the game. And I think this is generally a very good ring to have. I think only one ring is better and that is ring of suffering for the last hour. So very good. Whoppa, Sigil of Precision from Hydra. That is a very good drop. I don't know how much this goes for at the moment, we're gonna check after the trip. Oppa, another brimstone key. Uh, I guess we'll open these when I'm completely done with Slayer, I probably have about 5 of them. I don't know if there's any tasks revolving these, but I know you can get some decent loot through them. Okay, so looks like we're ending on 141kc right now, because apparently we have a 5 men hard mode TOB going on. So I can't really miss that, and we'll just have to come back here later. So I'll gear up for that and we'll see how it goes. Just doing a little bit of a Hydra sale right now and the Brimi ring sold for 12 million, uh, actually 13 million, which I will absolutely take, that is huge. Well, top was unsuccessful, we couldn't get in because of PK air, so we are back on Hydra and I'm actually gonna finish my 150kc, get my points and then probably move on to Zolra. That is an interesting drop. Three dragon fruit seeds, which go for a ridiculous price on Deadman mode. So that's probably, I don't know, like 600k drop just like that. Okay, so this should be pretty interesting because I have exactly 184 100 points. And this is the kill count 150. So let's see exactly how much we get. That's the task completion that green logs the combat achievements. And now if I refresh, 700 points. That was definitely worth my time. That is really, really good. This is it. This is going to be the end of Hydra for now. Uh, obviously, since I have 12 left, I'm going to finish the task on the small ones. If I get Abyssal Demons, I can do the Sire and do a bunch of Sire tasks. So if we quickly were to check. Abyssal Sire, there's a bunch of tasks we can do alongside getting the KC, which is a lot of points. If we get Grotesque Guardians, that is a lot of points that we can get that I don't have. So that would be really, really good. If we get Hellhounds, I can also go back to Cerberus. Uh, because I did not kill it 150 times yet so that would also be nice amount of bonus points so there is quite a lot of good chances we have and uh, we'll just kind of see what we get I cannot I mean I will not have enough points to pick a task unless if I did go and complete a quest first which maybe would be a smart play but we will see I think I will just grab a task and see what do we get Let's take a look. We're gonna just take a Duradel task and we will just hope. Blood welds. I mean, I'll do it. I will get no XP for it, but I will do it. Okay, a little casket for the boys before we do our blood welds. Heraldic shield and Iorwerf then. Okay, this is pretty bad loot. Unlucky. Oh, this is one thing I didn't consider. Uh, insatiable blood weld. I can get superiors. So, you know, a little little hard situation could be pretty good. And yeah, with Expeditious Bracelets, I don't think this task will take too long. It's just weird because I'm getting no XP and no points. So basically, I'm just kind of wasting time. Uh, but let's take a look. We get a clue scroll at least. Nothing else is good. Another superior, another chance for a heart, which actually goes for like ridiculous amount of money right now. I'm gonna drop this clue just to see if I get another one. And again, we didn't get anything good. Okay, we got another hard clue scroll over here. Let's take a look. Oof. Ancient Dehyde body is great. Rune Defender Ornament Kit not very good, but Master Clue Scroll could actually be really good. All right then, here we are. So I have a Slaughter activated, just double check, yup. Uh, NPC contact to Duradel, and we are gonna be taking Abyssal Sire, so Abyssal Demons. Here we go, 137. Let's take a look how many points we can do from doing Abyssal Sire. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Also, I wanna see my points. So there's a task to reflect the damage here with Venge. Oh, that's it. Okay. I'm very rusty, but I'll get used to it. I got this. Oh yeah, and we also got a lot of points for the first kill of the boss. We're gonna look to kill 50. Well, I didn't record it, but I got an achievement for reflecting damage with my Vengeance for a demonic rebound. Okay, we will try one kill where I only stun him once. There we go, Respiratory Runner. Another achievement done. Beautiful. I'm just doing one achievement at a time until I finally reach the point where I can only get a kill count. Did I do it? Perfect, Sire, I did it. Let's go, man. Okay, huge. 
that is really important one to get out of the way because now that I have this one out of the way, I think the rest of the tasks should be easy. Oh my God, I got an unsired. There is no way. Oh, what? Okay, I'll go cash it in and then recall here and then come back. That could actually be a pet as well. I don't even know what I need to do in order to cash this in. This is like so good. First piece of a bludgeon. Okay. Okay, let's go back up there, set up the recall. One out of three for bludgeon. I don't know how good bludgeon is, I'll be honest. But there it is, the first piece. I think I did it. Ah, yes. That was so risky. I risked it on like no HP then. Oh, let's go. Okay, so I don't know why I'm stressing but nearly died, which would be rough because breach is in 11 minutes. However, sometimes you have to risk it for the biscuit and this time it worked. So if we were to look at this, bosses, sire, only thing left is 20 kills and 50 kills. And we will do this right after the breach. Did you know when it's 4 a.m. and you're just chilling at the GE and all you see is people making fun of you, man, for fuck's sake. The starting points are 185.7. What are we hoping to get? If I get 188, I think I'll be happy. That would be 2.3k points. A little trinket to start it off. Okay, first emblem. Okay, little emblem. Emblem three. Ooh, Zuriel staff. Nice. If you guys do not know, Zuriel staff has gone up in price a lot because the tournament is super close to the end and Zuriel staff is best in slot main hand uh, staff. So when it used to be 2 mil, now it's a lot, a lot more. Another emblem, but I'm having a bit of a struggle with the inventory right now. Another emblem, another trinket. Trinkets are gonna be very useless in two days because you basically just lose them. Oh, I'm being attacked right now, which is not a good timing. I'm just gonna tab, it's one minute till the end. This is where we're gonna call it. I didn't bring freezes and I got more than 188K and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> I got a supply drop from a little guy. Interesting. Hey, there is 25 KC and all we need is 25 more. Just kidding, I'm sleep deprived, that's 20 KC. We need 30 more. Okay, 30 kill count, another unsired. It's getting super late. I had a six hour log, so if somebody were to scout me what I'm doing, they would know I'm doing unsired right now. I mean, I'm doing sire. Thing is, we need to kill 20 more, and I'm not going to sleep until I do, and this could be absolutely huge. Well, actually, can it be huge? I don't even know. But I could get a pet out of this. <laughs> I got a whip. All right, we'll take it. I don't know how much this is right now, but a little whip. I'm getting really smooth at this, I feel like. But let's take a look. Maybe we snag ourselves a pet. Maybe another bludgeon piece. Oh my goodness, abyssal head. By far the worst thing I can get because I already have it. <laughs> it's a disaster. Oh my, what was that hit? That was huge. And we have only one more kill to go. We got this. There it is, so many points. Nice, get me out of here. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't even that many points, I think. I'm pretty sure I've done everything. Let me just double check. Combat tasks, bosses, scroll all the way up. Abyssal Sire, fully green logged, beautiful. I will not be returning here. Let me tell you, this boss is so slow but super happy to have it done. I am going to be ending today's episode right here on 190,000 points. I'm currently sharing rank 13 with So Gangsta, Loki, Yoon, Rotman72 and myself. It is extremely competitive and very hard to obtain points at this point in the tournament. As you can see, there's only two days left and we do have about 20,000 point lead in front of rank 26. I'm gonna keep trying to maintain the front page rank and I'll see you again tomorrow with another Deadman Mode video.